inverse kinematics and forward kinematics. I'm using a program called Blender, and I've made a set of bones here. And um, in the real world, forward kinematics and inverse kinematics refer to robotics. Um, when I looked it up on Wikipedia, it looked like they were using it applied to factories where they make cars and robots need to be doing operations with their arms. But here, it also applies to animation. So I'm just going to show you. Forward kinematics means that these bones are in kind of a parent-child relationship. So if I move this parent around, all of its child or children go with it. And if I, let's say I want to move this in part of this bone to be inside this little circle, to do that, I either have to move this all up like that, oh, maybe right there, and then I have to go say, well, now this one needs to move a little bit, and now, now I need to go and do this one. Oh, that was too far, so let's move that down, and then let's try and get that in there. So it takes quite a few clicks, um, me doing these motions by hand to get the end of that bone system where I want it to go. Or we can take advantage of math and say, let's pretend we're just going to tell the software that we want this end of this bone, where, where we want this end of this bone to be, and all the rest of them to be figured out from that. So what we do is we use math to compute what's called inverse kinematics. In other words, we say, based upon where we want to be, what do all my parents have to do in order to get me there? And that looks like this. I'm just moving this one bone up to there, one click, and I am in place. Whoop. It's not always a great solution because it's really hard to do things like animate somebody jumping rope. It's hard to do arcs with inverse kinematics. Um, but that's why a lot of times in animation they'll make switches so that you can switch easily back and forth between using the forward kinematic method and the inverse kinematic method.